So from incredibly drop-dead, gorgeous models dominating the international catwalks to designers and artists working behind the scenes, I think the globe is truly appreciating African originality at the moment. But there is one Joburg-based creative who is bringing that back to South African soil. When an established artist creates a space for emerging artists, you can expect something a little different. Andrew Lindsay's Spaza Gallery is an institution in the suburb of Troyville and a labour of love for a mosaic artist with a long, successful career. I started it 16 years ago in 2001 as a kind of an entry level uh, for people trying to access the Johannesburg art market. As you see, the space is, consists of a gallery, but it's also got quite a lovely big garden. In the garden, we have had uh, like workshops, so it is like kind of like an art or studio space as well. It's all about transforming unused spaces, unloved spaces into spaces that people can come together and share. And I think art can also play a vital role in that transformation process. Andrew has a history of creating public mosaic projects and the medium is also celebrated at Spaza, where a number of fellow mosaic artists exhibit their work. I love mosaic, that's the, yeah, my special media. Uh, it's because I've got love for it and the passion. And Spaza Art Gallery helped me as an artist, they give me the opportunity to show up my works and space to exhibit. The gallery has an interesting collection of sculptors, but other mediums you'll also find are sketches, stonework, upcycled art, as well as an array of different paintings. In the last 10 years, there's been a huge amount of incredible mural art, paintings, public art. And then even the last two, two years, you'll be amazed at the, the number of galleries in Johannesburg. It's become like a huge art destination in itself. Currently we've got a lovely miniatures exhibition which I think really suits the space and it's like affordable art. The aim of this exercise is to create new audiences as well, that people don't feel intimidated, they don't have the bucks to buy something. So when they come here they can see it's affordable and it's good art, you know, and it's maybe uh, something they would like to put on their wall. So yeah, it's about developing audiences, developing artists. Just like a spaza shop, the gallery houses a smorgasbord of creativity and talent and is somewhere you'll feel right at home viewing and acquiring art for your enjoyment.